Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam Roll. You might be thinking, Sam, why are you on Brooks's page? Well, I've just been analyzing his music because a lot of you guys requested his synth fills, and I was like, all right, I guess we can try and give this a shot. Now, after noticing his synth fills, you know, he has a lot of various different ones, so it's hard to kind of pinpoint a tutorial for that. So I'm going to try and make it as kind of general as possible or to the point where you guys can probably go in yourselves and try and make them yourself. Um, I've already made a video in this style, however, called Ultimate Synth Fills. Uh, make sure to check that one out if you want more information on this but we're not going to be doing anything super crazy in this video that's for sure um some of it by me complex for some of you guys but let's get straight into this guys um by the way um we released bounce revolution so if you guys want to check that out make future bounce music it's three ableton project files three fl studio one serum sound bank silent one sound bank a sample pack um j oscar made the flps which is an amazing future bounce producer i think he's going to be at the top eventually uh make sure to check it out if you want to support the channel and with that being said let's get straight into this tutorial guys so if you're using a lead in your song already, I do suggest you use that lead to do a synth fill. Now, he likes to do this a lot, so let's go with the first lead we have, which is lead at Themic Lead, cuz, um, and Themic Lead for days, so it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so with this lead, what we have right now, how can we do a synth fill of this lead? Well, one of the things that he likes to do is he'll like to grab a lead. Um, let's use LFO2 to shape it. And he'll actually do a shape to a sound. Now, the more important thing in sound design for me is the shape of a sound. How it comes in. Ha, ah, bam, boom, boom, boom. You know, it's however it is. And that's the most important thing to do is to shape it. Now, one of the ones he likes to do a lot is we'll, you know, lower these levels here. Is he'll apply something like this. You know, let's make this envelope. Let's do it one four. There we go. Let's lower this more and let's get rid of maybe like a couple of the things. So it's not so, yeah. There we go. So one of the ones he likes to do is actually a very basic one. Um, and it's going to revolve around really get doing a pitch bend to it and getting this shape. So here, what I'm going to do is use LFO3 and route it here to our CRS. We're not running it to the octave. We're not running it to the sem. We're fine because the octave skips over 12 semitones every time it goes plus one, plus two. Um, semitone is going to skip over a lot of the fine. So plus one semitone skips over, I don't know how many fucking fine we have a hundred and then fine. It's just doesn't go all the way up. So CRS is a smooth one that doesn't skip over huge uh, key. So this is the smoothest one. And what we're going to be doing is very simple. It's just, you know, you get that kind of vibe already. So you can see that let's put envelope. Um, very, very basic sound. Let's say you want to keep this repeating. You can apply trig on it. Like, one, um, whoops, sorry, wrong one. Um, let's do like one, uh, 164 here. Uh, one eight. And then you have something like that as well. You can make this even both further like this so that we can have two of these going on here. And then we're going to put another one. And we're going to have these kind of, you know, let's do it slower. You know, and then here we can do kind of like the, the pitch bend strategically maybe. You know, there you can go. Let's do one half there, one half. And you can see we start to get these kind of cool little synth fills that he likes to use a lot. This is going to be one of the ones he likes to use the most. Um, and again, I do recommend you go into the leads that you already have so you have the basic sound of it. And you can kind of do these. Um, very, very simple, of course. Now, if we go into a little bit more of the advanced stuff, which is going to be more of those kind of dubstep fills that he has, I definitely recommend watching the other video, which I made called Ultimate Synth Fills. That one gets really into it, but I'll make a basic one here for you guys right now. Now, a dubstep wub is all going to be about change over time. Um, that's where you hear the sound change. Wah! And whenever you hear a sound changes, it's not stable like, ha, you know, I'm a good singer. Um, then you have to know something's changing over time in the sound, and that means you have to change something over time in the synth. Here, what we're going to be doing is very simple. We're going to be making a standard kind of warm kind of sound. So let's pick a wavetable here from Spectral and we'll go with, I don't know, maybe Monster 9 because I like the number 9 and it's Halloween. Um, and we're going to apply this on the uh, level. And we're going to have that. Let's make it slow. So one half and bar. So half a. Here's where you're going to decide how long it lasts, by the way. Make sure envelope is on so it only happens once. Now, from here, we can find, you know, a spot we like maybe there and then we can do our standard sound design to make a wub i'm not going to get into it again you can watch that video or watch some dust of tutorials for that but pretty much here you know i'll apply some fm just to make it kind of sound look a little bit more complex even though we don't need it there you can see that there we go and then from there it's hearing the wubs that he uses he always likes to down pitch them so we can use an lfo here like so or maybe like so and apply that there and down pitch it so we're going to go down there so let's make it one half as well. Envelope on or trick. 
you know, maybe a little bit fast. <laughs> That's kind of cool. You know, from there, you can kind of see what we're doing there. We can even do it to the, the CRS. So you can, you can get really cool kind of sounds out of it for sure. If you want to do more complex stuff, however, we'll get into one of those. Um, we can kind of move this to the left here. And then we can do another one here. Um, and then there's some free presets out there for sure, like LFO tables that you can use for this. But I'll do it myself just because I like to do everything myself. Like most elite producers say you got to make your own kick so you suck. You know, and then you can kind of see that there we're doing some cool stuff. And now this one, we can make it be like half as well. And then we can kind of just decide maybe here we want it to pitch down. And then here up. And then you can kind of see, you can start making really cool stuff out of it. Um, depending on the speed, how you want it very fast. Mm, trigger rip you know so you can make really cool stuff um that's how sinfuls are gonna work and again i do recommend you watch that video um now the last one i do want to show before we end this video is gonna be one that i heard in, in uh two of his songs and this one is gonna be a gated kind of effect where it's like fa, 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 fa. um sort of like kind of like a rolling transformer in a way um this one is gonna be made easily we're gonna hold shift and pull it up like so so it looks like that we're gonna use a cutoff here and we're gonna have this cutoff go downward as you can see, let's increase the speed of 116. I think 116 is going to be the fastest we can go with this. Um, from here, the thing is we're going to use an envelope and we're going to have to close this cutoff down. And then your decay is going to control. So I think it's going the wrong way. I gave me there we go. So the attack is going to do that to stay up so it stays. And there we go. The attack is going to control. So from you can even make it faster. And this is how it's going to control kind of like how long it lasts. From here, it's just deciding the sound. So we can go with maybe spectral again. And do a little bit of a fam if needed here. So we'll do something like this. And have this. And again, if it has a pitch bend, you can add it via the pitch bend, or you can use an LFO for that. And if you want to go for like that nice metallic vibes, then you can always add flangers to this with high feedback. Uh, low change over time um, but you can see we're starting to get really cool synth fills here yeah. um, and then of course the mighty comb that everyone loves um, but as you guys can see this can go on and on forever guys but the more basic thing I want you guys to get out of this video is the shaping of the sound because if you hear the sound and you can shape it the rest is just figuring out if it's pitch patch pitch bending and what effects he used to get it to sound that way now i hopefully you guys found this tutorial helpful it was super hard to actually make it because it's so hard to pinpoint just a signature brook style of synth fill other tips i will give you guys is to go through vengeance samples effect fills uh, you know in the evil packs we do have some effect kind of effect vibes here like effect loops that you guys can use that a lot of people don't like to fuck with but you can grab those for instance, for instance this one and what we can do is use lfo tool which a lot of people use for sidechain but you should definitely look into using it for more or you can just use the presets like most people to get really cool kind of kind of little vibes there let's say you like a certain then you can maybe freeze it and then you can flatten it that way you have the effect there for instance here and then flatten that and you can see now we have that kind of effect and we can grab this one and you like this one then we can do that and then you can even take it further maybe you like the shape of it you can put it in a sampler and you can go even further this is just me showing off by the way you know really cool synthos you can you know, you can get really cool kind of vibes. In the end, I think the whole Brooks info is about being creative and just being able to do this and having those ideas in your mind, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I tried my best. And make sure to leave comments, suggestions down below on other videos. I heard someone wanted to know about chords that Mesto and Martin Garrix use on drops. We'll see if I make that one tomorrow. But you guys take care. And if you guys want to support the future bounce pack, make sure to check it out, guys. It was a month of work, but I think it's one of the best packs out there. All right, ninjas, you guys take care and you guys have an amazing day.